And greetings once again to all of you Stingwings and Softshell Meyerlurks of the Commonwealth. We are here today to take a look at some alternate lens effects for e &B series for Fallout 4, which Boris has been kind enough to port over from the Skyrim e &B series mod. And these effects include a radial sort of lens flare, and what I like to call schmutz, which simulates the appearance of grime and dirt on a camera lens when exposed to very bright light. In this video, I provide an overview of the radial lens flare effect, followed by details on how to install these features, and finally, how to configure the effects so that they appear as they do in this video. Now these lens effects may be used as an alternate to the default anamorphic lens flare effect that ships with ENB for Fallout 4, which I covered in my previous video, which you can see here. Please note that when you install these new lens effects, you do not lose the original lens effects, and you will be able to switch back and forth between these at any time, if so desired. Part 1. Radial Lens Flare So let's take a look at the radial lens flare effect. Notice as I move the position of the camera, the light emitted from the floodlight at the center of the screen appears to be broken down into its constituent color components, which are distributed along an axis that rotates around the point of the light source itself. And because this is a white light source, we see elements of red, blue, and green in the lens flare, though these colors are fairly muted. Now here we are looking at another similar floodlight, however, for this particular light, Bethesda has already manually added their own lens flare effect to the light. In these cases, ENB's radial lens flare effect combines with the game's own lens flare to produce an even more rich lens flare effect overall. And fortunately, the two effects behave nicely together, as they behave based on the same principle, with components distributed on an axis centering on the light source itself. Another interesting point to note, as shown here, is that the flare can be generated by multiple light sources in the same scene. So here we see two distinct instances of the lens flare effects, rotating around two separate axes. And if we take a closer look, we can even see that the lens flare reflects the grill in front of the light, where the light is obscured by the small metal bars. I feel like I'm in the twilight zone here. And here we can see a humble little elevator light generating a soft, warm lens flare effect that is consistent with the color of the light source. Now another really cool aspect of the radio lens flare is that it can also be triggered by very bright weapon projectiles, such as those from laser and plasma weapons. And in this slow motion footage, you can see how firing the laser rifle produces red lens flare effects. And here, where I'm using a plasma enhanced shotgun, we see a scattering of green tinted lens flare effects. And when I start to unload on some targeted NPCs, a veritable fireworks show ensues. While we won't be taking a specific look at the lens schmutz effect on its own, it will be covered in the installation and configuration sections of this video. Part 2 Installation Installation of the radial lens flare and schmutz effects is very easy. First, you will want to visit the enbdev.com forums by visiting the link shown here. I have included this in the video description for your convenience. And on this page, you're going to click to download the enblens.zip file and save this file somewhere that you're familiar with. Then, navigate to your downloaded file in Windows Explorer. I've renamed mine as seen here. And then you will extract the archive. I did this earlier, so I'm overriding my previous versions. Now we will look in the extracted folder, and here we can see the two files that are to be installed, enblens.fx and enblensmask.png. Before we go ahead and install these, this is the default sample file provided by Boris, and uh, look what we have here. And hey, that looks like Boris's avatar from the ENB dev forums. So, this being the case, you may not want to use the default file provided. The good news is that you can use any other enblensmask.png file for this purpose, and I will provide a link to this file, which I created when putting together my enhanced shader ENB presets. Now to download this file, you're going to want to visit this ugly URL that's shown on the screen here. Again, I will copy this into the video description for your convenience. Once you're on the Dropbox page, you may be prompted to create an account. You do not have to do this. So you will click the download button and select direct download. And here I will not create an account. Instead, I will click no thanks, continue to download. Now I'm able to save the file on my local machine. Okay, so now we are ready to install our files. You want to install these into your Fallout 4 root folder, which can easily be accessed through Steam. You'll just right click on Fallout 4, click on properties, click on local files, and then click browse local files. This will open the corresponding folder in Windows Explorer. And now you just want to paste both of the files here. Alright, now that we've completed installation, let's boot up the game and look at configuration. Part 3. Configuration 
Configuration of the radial lens flare and schmutz effects is fairly easy. As always, we begin by opening our ENB menu with Shift Enter and in the ENB series.ini panel, expand the lens section and ensure all values here are set to 1 as shown. Now I will click to reveal my shader parameters window. And here today we are interested in the ENB lens.effects section. And in the drop down menu, we want to select Skyrim Mod Lens. And now the effect has been enabled. It's fairly subtle here, but you can see the red component of the light spectrum shifting with the lens flare effect. And then here we have some schmutz appearing near the bright areas of the screen. And realistically, you want this to be a relatively subtle effect, particularly outdoors, as it is not pleasant to always have schmutz appearing on the screen or wild lens flares obscuring your view during the day. Note that from the drop down menu, you can always select multi-pass lens to instead use the default lens effects that ship with ENB for Fallout 4. However, if you choose to do so, you will want to reduce the strength of the lens effects in the ENB series.ini menu as the default effect behaves better with lower values. I recommend using a value of 0.1. Okay, looking at the parameters available for the lens flare and lens dirt or schmutz effects, we'll see that each has an intensity control and a power control. The intensity control is straightforward. These basically control the strength of the effects. However, the power parameters behave like thresholds. And the best way to think of these is that a light source must be at least as powerful as what's specified here in order to generate the lens flare or schmutz effect. So by raising the power value, we raise the threshold so only brighter and brighter light sources are able to produce these effects. I recommend using the values shown here, 2, 7, 8, and 3, to achieve an overall balanced look that behaves well in daylight exteriors as well as in dark interiors as shown in this video. The way I like to test this is that when I'm looking at something during the daytime and not looking at a light source, the lens flare and dirt effects should not be visible. However, as I shift my view towards the light source, as shown here, then the schmutz starts to become visible towards the bright areas of the screen, and then the lens flare kicks in as the light source moves towards the center of the screen. And then when we look away again, things return to normal. Alright gang, I hope you found today's video useful. As always, I want to thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to stay tuned for more updates about ENB and other performance and graphics mods for Fallout 4. Catch you next time.